Hello everyone, let's go ahead and make a small change to our tag manager. Um, because the way that we're going to incorporate our conditions and our variables, it will make a lot more sense and be much more convenient if anything can access our tag manager. So rather than just having the conversation manager have access to it, we're going to expand that to where anything can access the tag manager because everything will be static. Again, just having a class static does not mean we can't have any dynamic variables in it. We can still change the tags, we can still access them, and we can still point those tags to real objects or real instances in the scene. So let's go ahead and turn our tag manager static uh, just to prepare for the upcoming tasks that we're going to be doing. So the first thing we're gonna do is convert all of these functions into static. So our dictionary will be static and our regex will be static. We're going to remove this initialize field here because we will not need to initialize it. Drawing inspiration from how I did the variable store, we're going to change our dictionary slightly. And we're going to change this to initialize the tags when the dictionary is actually defined. So we'll do that right here. Let's go ahead and take our first entry and closing it in brackets and say that the name of the tag is going to be main character. And what that's going to equal is the expression that points to Avira. We can put in all the rest of our tags that way and then delete the initialization function. And then we'll just turn our inject function static. So now everything is static and anything can access the tag manager. I didn't know how to do what I did for the variable store until I actually went to design that episode, but this is a much better way for us to handle our tag manager and initialize the dictionary without actually having to have an instance. Now that does mean for our conversation manager, we'll just sort of remove the references to the tag manager here. So let's delete the variable and then let's delete the line where we create a tag manager inside of the constructor. And then when we come down to the uh, part here, where we handle the speaker logic and we're injecting any tags into the speaker name, let's go ahead and just reference the tag manager class dot inject. And the same thing for when we are injecting into our dialog. So we'll change that to the instance instead of, or the class instead of the instance. And then by running an input file, we can grab input and we should still be able to inject this without referencing an instance, but referencing the class, which makes it more accessible to other scripts. So here we are, let me go ahead and accept the name and we get all of our tags injected. Great, so now our tag manager is static and we can go ahead and proceed on because that's going to make it useful for the things that we're going to do in this episode.